you are leading a project that involves coordinating multiple teams and tasks over a period of six months. Given the complexity of the project, you decided to utilize Gantt chart. How can a Gantt chart assist you in managing this project? So looks like the question is looking for, do I understand what is the meaning of Gantt chart and how can it be used in our project management activity? So pure understanding of Gantt chart can help me in uh, getting this question right. Let's look at the option. Option A, it provides a detailed analysis of project cost and budget allocation for each task. Now, the tool which you use for Gantt chart, for example, MS project or Primavera, may include costing information. Yeah, that's the most likely thing because it is integrated there. But the Gantt chart as a representation has less to do with costing. It has more to do with should showing the timeline and the bar uh, chart for, for, for understanding how things will work and showing the critical path. So selecting a cost option is a little risky here because that is not the primary purpose of that chart. Maybe the tool does that. That's a separate thing. Let's go for option B. It serves as a primary tool for daily communication within the team. Possible. Uh, we can use it for daily communication. Uh, uh, but many times the daily communication may happen with the help of what are we doing and how things are. Uh, uh, depends. There are some organizations where everyone as a team member look at the Gantt chart and they identify their daily activities. Uh, but in many organizations, Gantt charts are not that much detailed and especially in the planning stage. Uh, they, they have an additional breakup of those things which can help the people to find out what they should be doing on a daily basis. So I would say it is little confusing uh, the option b it's a candidate it's a candidate option but i need to see if we get a better option yeah but it may not work as a primary tool that's a, another keyword so if i have to discard this option i will think about this primary word and let's see if we have option c it offers a clear visual representation of the project schedule including task duration and dependency that seems to be the primary purpose of Gantt chart yeah so if i compare b and c uh, I can say the B is talking about that daily level, you'll always keep looking at a Gantt chart and you don't look anything else because this is your primary tool, may not be. Yeah, in some project team, maybe, but may not be in all the projects. But option C, whatever is there in option C is always the utility of Gantt chart. We see a visual presentation of a project schedule. We see the task duration. We see the dependency. We identify the milestones there. We can see the milestones there. We can identify the critical path there. We can see the progress there at a later stage. That is something we, we do all the time in the project. So option C looks great in front of option B. Option D, it tracks the quality metrics and standard adherence to each task in the in the project. Maybe, may not be. You may not necessarily, the utility of a Gantt chart is not for tracking the quality metrics. Yeah, You may have your tool doing it. The utility of Gantt chart is basically looking at the relationship between activities and sequencing them so that we can see how our critical path overall looks like. So looking at these options, I can go with option C. And this particular question is a simple one, which is looking for understanding of the tool. I think the question was simple, but the options made it little tricky and we need to choose by comparing the options. Sometimes that will happen in your PMP exam also. When the questions are simple, the options may become tricky. So you need to use more do like a, a, a say comparison uh, approach there. You can say I need to eliminate some options by comparing them because I need to find best out of available options. So we can go further and we can say, what is this process? This particular question was focusing on task six, yeah, plan and manage schedule. That seems to be the clear mapping. And the topic which we were covering here is predictive scheduling because we are looking at Gantt chart. Uh, can we use a Gantt chart in adaptive scheduling? Possibly, yes. But in that case, it is a very high level thing, not very frequently used. But if you want to show your overall roadmap, you can use some kind of Gantt chart representation. But usually I attach the Gantt chart because it talks about sequencing activities, relationships and all with the predictive scheduling only. So yes, it's a predictive scheduling tool and this is something we, we learned. 